Hey guys, uh, CJ9899 here, and I bring you a new series, or I guess a, it's either going to be a two-part or three-part series called Mini Panels 101. Okay, so this series is going to focus on some of these smaller panels that, that I in fact own in my collection. And when my definition, a small panel is a conventional panel that has up to a max of five zones. So, right first, for the two first two parts, um, I'm only going to be showing panels that I have that are working. I do have two other small panels, the 6602 and a three zone fire shield, but unfortunately those do not work. Um, so I can't really show them. I can, I mean, well, I can show them visually, but I can't demonstrate them. But I do have two other small panels, and I will be acquiring a third um, by the end of December that I will show in this series. But first off, we are going to start with this. This is a notifier CSGL, or in the C means Canadian, so it's basically, for anybody in America, it would just be the SGL 2000. This is basically a notifier version of the Firelight MP24, except this one only has one zone compared to the MP24, which in fact has two zones. So this panel is a one zone, one NAC panel with three LEDs. You got an alarm LED, a system trouble LED, and an AC power LED. And then these three buttons here, there's one for uh, trouble silence, reset, and disable. The trouble silence and disable buttons are kind of toggle buttons, so they'll kind of hold in place. Um, this panel has a date code of 1995, so it is well before um, ADA, and it has no coding options, it only has continuous. So, I am going to jump cut to when I open up the front cover here, and we'll take a look at the inside. So now the cover has been on, so we, we can take it off here. So, underneath here, we have basically just the main control kind of card, I guess you can say. Um, here we have the transformer, and this takes the 120 volts AC and puts it down to, I can't really tell what specific voltage it converts it to, but uh, it takes it down to a lower AC voltage in order to power this. So, basically here we have, you have your buttons and they kind of have a spring action underneath. We have your terminals. These two terminals is for neutral and, um, uh, what a neutral and high, I believe, but um, basically your white and black things for your 120 volts AC, and, it, and believe it or not, it actually does not have a ground terminal, but you have to ground it uh, s um, separately because there's a ground wire here in the back. Um, but this, then you have your zone terminals, and then you have your NAC terminals. Um, so basically, yes, this panel is very, very simple. Uh, and it's got some other stuff. It's got a capacitor. It's got you got your piezo, you got a fuse for the NAX, and you have your battery, your battery pins, which a harness would go on. But I'm actually using the harness um, for the NFW 50s batteries, so uh, this thing basically just has a battery trouble. And uh, another thing I should mention: these panels take, I believe, 4.7 ohm k, 4.7 k ohm resistors. Um, and I should have enough, but, uh, so now that you know what it looks like on the inside, we will go ahead and power this thing up, and I will give you a demonstration of how it works. So bear with me. Okay, so now we have the panel plugged in, and obviously it's showing a trouble, but see if I disconnect the P's, it will just go if I, it's a toggle switch. So, let's go ahead and, uh, activate... And or, I guess yeah, give a demo. Uh, horn. I just have a Genesis horn and a Notifier MPS 950B pole station. So here we go. And then you just hit the disable button to uh, silence it. So yes, this panel is very basic, but in fact, it is also a very rare panel, as they do not make many of these, they, or they, most of these panels that have been installed back in the day have either been replaced or 
or I don't know, they're still in service, but among collectors, they're a very rare panel. Uh, yeah, we can just go ahead and reset. And you just uh, re-enable the knack. So, that has been a demonstration of the Notify, or uh, C... Ah, sorry. I keep forgetting the model. The CSGL 2000, or just the SGL 2000, if you're in America. Uh, so, that's part one. Uh, part two will be on a Mircom panel. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, CJ9809 signing off, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.